Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel where we talk about everything Windows, computers, and, uh, you know, it's fun to have a little bit of news of some of the things that's going to happen in the uh, near future. So we learned a little more details today about Windows 10 X, this famous version of Windows 10. And also I will take this time to answer questions because I've had a lot of people ask me questions about this uh, new version of Windows so Windows 10 X, we now know is not going to come out this year. It's going to come out in 2021. So it's being delayed. And apparently what is interesting here is it's being delayed because of a shift in the focus of where and how it's going to work. And the reason behind this is that at first Windows 10 X, and of course when there was that Microsoft event, we saw the, uh, you know, surface devices that were foldable devices running Windows 10 X. Well, at first, that was the only uh, reason for Windows 10 X using foldable devices. But apparently, there's now a shift, it seems that Microsoft is going to actually have Windows 10 X running on laptops too. That means you'd be able to buy a laptop with Windows 10 and you'd be able to buy a laptop with Windows 10 X if you want. Now, a lot of you have been asking what's the difference. Well, first of all, it's a simplified operating system, meaning that instead of that big, you know, core multi gigabyte operating system that is heavy to run on laptops and computers and all of that, this is lightweight. This is Windows 10 but stripped to a minimum with a simplified and redesigned uh, user interface. So that means this might actually run faster. It might actually be better than Windows 10 to some point. And this is going to be interesting because this obviously is an interesting way of seeing the future of Windows. What if the future of Windows is Windows 10 X? That would be interesting. Also, um, it promises to have better battery life. So that means you would have a laptop that would run longer because Windows 10, even though it's nice, even though when you tweak it, gives you a certain amount of time of laptop, it's still not, you know, it's, it's not an iPad. It's not, you're not going to have 12 hours of laptop battery. Um, and it has to do with a lot of different things, including, you know, the hardware, but um, Windows 10 X makes you think that this barrier of a time might be actually uh, changed. What else do we know about Windows 10 X is that one of the reasons also why it's delayed is that apparently it's not running very well on Intel processors. So that also is a tweak that they are going to fix because it needs to run everywhere and run well everywhere. So this is interesting to see. Now, there are some previews that you can download and try. Unfortunately, on my laptops, when I do this, the uh, Windows 10 X doesn't start. It says that it's not finding the GPU, uh, my graphics processor, or it lost contact with it. So for some reason, it doesn't work. Um, but the um, there is a trial that you can everybody can try. You don't have to be an insider or anything that will let you, of course, try the uh, Windows 10 X operating system. Now, the thing is, um, you know, this future will actually boast another question, and that's one of the questions that is probably the most popular. All of you are asking, will that run my regular software? Can I run my favorite programs? From what we know, Windows 10 X should technically run your favorite applications, but it'll run them in a sandbox if you want, or it will not run them directly like Windows does. So it's going to be a little different, but it should run all of the software that you actually use in there. The... Um, Interesting aspects also, uh, also of Windows 10 is X is that in Windows 10, it, it's obvious that people have that fear of updating. They have that fear of, you know, should I click that update? Should I install that update? Should I? 
and um, you know it, it, it's understandable because Microsoft doesn't have the best of track records and it happened that you know uh, computers broke down because of a bad update and so on um, you know Windows 10 X is a different way of updating it's also going to be a seamless way of updating that means you know your smartphone when if you have an Android phone for example you might have noticed that your Android phone you almost never notice that it updates but it does it does at the night most of the time I I notice it because sometimes when I wake up in the morning I have to enter my pin and that means it restarted because of an update well it's pretty much seamless we we don't see these happen really well Windows 10 X promises that also A seamless update on the background that means no more oh there's an update today and uh, click Windows update it's gonna update you know, at some point when you're not using it and so on in the background without you even noticing it's doing it. And so every time you'll have the latest, more secure and best uh, Windows 10 X version, it won't tell you there's an update. It's just going to do it without you even noticing like a smartphone does, which is kind of nice. And um, hopefully if it's done right, it might be pretty cool. And of course, the promise of a very uh, stripped down fast operating system I think that would be something uh, interesting it will surely use more of the cloud because it will I would guess be closer in performance and in and the way it works uh, to uh, a Chromebook for example rather than a Windows laptop but this is going to be interesting for the future and that's coming next year so could that eventually replace Windows 10 by itself you know I could see Windows 10 being enterprise and Windows 10 X becoming becoming that favor favorite consumer uh, operating system of Windows who knows it's gonna be interesting I think 2021 is gonna be a cool year for technology with this Windows 10 X if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching